Today we're going to do an oil filter element inspection. I used the Airwolf cutter and cut the top off of the filter yesterday and we let it drain and uh, now we're going to cut open the element and inspect it. Alright, to get started on uh, inspecting the oil filter element after cutting it open, letting it drain, uh, we take off the metal that is what connects the two ends of the element together when they make it. Get that out of the way. Carefully using a very sharp knife, proceed to cut the element all the way around at the base Notice I'm using the canister as a workbench. Works real good to rotate this around and while you're cutting it holds it. Just make sure it's clamped in the vise good. What you can do now is find that uh, end where they were joined. And pull the filter out. What you're looking for is an accumulation of debris down in the crease. Obviously this is a very clean oil filter. Didn't have much time on it. Occasionally you'll find a little sparkle or a flake of something. Usually not to be too concerned about. Notice there's very little oil in this element after it's drained for a day or two. You can go around the whole thing and look at contaminants. There you go. You don't need that anymore. What you do have is about six feet of filter element. You can go through and inspect. Now if you were to find something on here, you could put this whole thing back down into a jar of solvent. Get the solvent on there and swish it around get all the particulates to fall out, drain the jar out, get your uh, particulates into a little container, let them dry or see if they're magnetic or just carbon uh, or what else they might be, uh, magnetic, ferrous metal or non-ferrous metal, aluminum, steel, it could be from the camshaft and lifters, it could be from bearings and bushings. Um, but usually you'll find, you know, a little bit of debris in there. Carbon blow-by that comes off the pistons and the rings. And uh, some other wear materials. But usually you don't, like this one, you don't find much of anything. And that's a good thing. Because a lot of metal in a filter means a lot of money is going to be out of your wallet. <laughs> 